Hi guys, great question here from Eric. So he's struggling with a really big scene. So I'm just going to show you what you can do about that using Xrefs. So say we have a scene and it's really high poly. I'm just going to quickly demonstrate using uh, boxes here. So nothing special, but let's say this is our interior scene for example, I know that's really hard to imagine but this is it, so I'm going to go to file, save as I'll just save that on my desktop and call this interior and then I'll start a new scene and I start creating my exterior trees etc and this is quite a large scene in itself so there's a couple of things we can do we could save this as its own scene so let's call this exterior or we could use this as the main scene and go to reference xref scene add and we'll add the interior so we've got a few few options on the side here so we can enable it we can make it visible and there is also a merge button but essentially this is just a reference you can't edit it in this scene but when we hit render it will be there so if you've completed your interior you can use this and obviously we can still edit the exterior if again the scene's too big then we'll start new and we could set up our lighting in this scene and the environment so just just to demonstrate like let's change our environment to this purple color and then you can set all your your lighting maybe your your background up in here and we'll go to references xref scene let's add we'll add the exterior and then we'll add the interior and you'll see that this has got both of the references in and we've got no polys or verts in here so this is it's saving a lot of memory now you might want to edit um, the exterior for example so I would advise just going back in and opening up the exterior making the changes saving it and then you can go back into this scene if you reopen this scene it will update automatically and if you don't then you'll just have to hit exterior and hit update now. I wouldn't have automatic on because that can slow down your computer. If for whatever reason you do want to bring these references into the scene you can hit merge and it will merge the xref into the scene and now we can edit it in here. Um, so you, you can use that way and then perhaps select all the exterior objects and then save selected and save over that exterior for example and then you'd be able to delete and then bring that back in as an xref but I wouldn't advise doing that I'm kind of getting ahead of myself so yes make separate scenes and then bring them all together in one scene using xrefs